so hey guys welcome to the new video today in this video we are going to see that how can you create a simple gui based calculator using tinker module in python so firstly let's open our vs code and then what you have to do is you have to click on file tab at the top left corner and then open folder here you can choose your desired folder i have already selected my one now what you have to do is just simply uh, click on this button and then create a file named as app.py now what you have to do is you have to import the required module import tkinter as tk so now you have to uh, write some basic functions which your program will be using so firstly we will be using evaluate function evaluate function evaluate this one no uh, this will not contain any parameter so now what you have to do is result equals eval and entry dot get this will get the input from the user now what you have to do is you have to clear the entry after evaluating it this will uh, get the entry from the user and evaluates its expression and store it in result variable now what you have to do is you have to uh, clear the entry tk.end clear the entry field now what you have to do is clear, uh, you have to just output the result so entry or insert 0 comma str of result now you have to uh, set a exception block for this except remove this one except entry dot delete entry dot delete yes this one tk dot end if this uh, is unable to evaluate the expression this then this will throw an error okay so our basic function is done now you have to uh, define a click function click and then symbol this will get this parameter as symbol okay entry dot insert tk dot end and symbol now you have to define a clear uh, function this will just clear the entry you can see now you have to create a window for this create the main window root dot tk uh, root equals tk dot tk simple calculator now you have to uh, specify the entry widget for this for input entry equals this is the entry variable which we have used here entry equals tk dot entry with root and border width okay i think it is completely fine if you want to like add some font then you can also add here font equals font equals arial and 14 will be the font size we will set it as 20 20 will be the font size and border width will be 2 border width will be 2 and relief will be solid relief equals solid that's it now entry dot grid row column 00, zero and uh, column span will be 4 with padding pady equals 10 10 that's it so now we have to define the buttons for this button layout for this we will be creating a button array bu S buttons. We will be using this format only. Here, uh, 789. Okay, this is a good one. So, our uh, first row and uh, first column will contain the key 7. 
and uh, first row and second column will contain the key 8 followed by 9 yes uh, again the same second row and first column will be 4 fifth will be the second column of second row followed by these so this is the basic setup we need to add one more row yep these will be completely fine that's it guys now let's close this so now we have to define a for loop for text row and column col in buttons if text equal uh, if text double equals this one then what you have to do is you have to uh, create a button and uh, do the same thing if uh, text double equals this one is equal to then you you have to set the command as evaluate expression and these will be the height and width these are just simply buttons this will this is a clear button evaluate expression yep this was the function which will be called upon uh, pressing this button so this is a button grid now what you have to do is you have to return the main loop root dot main loop that's it just save this and now what you have to do is just simply run this file okay let me check there is some error in the line number in the line number 28 of this program let me check okay so border width is repeated here so let's delete this one or we can also delete this one and set to uh, you can see 2 that's it now let's rerun this you can see that this is our basic calculator if you divide 7 by 7 then this must give 1 you can see that this is 1 and you can also see that in the first row and uh, first column this is 7 and then 8 in the second column or 9 in the third column and divide by sign in fourth column let's check with the button layout yes you can see that this is with the proper indexing so that's it for this video guys now let's see you next time